He's on dialysis 10 hours a night and is waiting for a transplant, so he's the coolest kid around. This is my wife, easily the mom of the year, and that's me. Together, we're the Ransom fam. Today, we're taking you guys on a wild ride. That is our nighttime routine. Hang on tight. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Welcome to our nighttime routine. This is, what is it, Wednesday? Wednesday and day 134. Are you sure? No. Nope. You gotta go check. <laughs> right back. 133. Okay, day 133 of, sorry. Tonight <laughs> is day 133 of dialysis. For our kiddo, not us. For our one-year-old son. But we do it. We do do it. We do do it. <laughs> Anyways, our nighttime routine is the nighttime routine of all nighttime routines. And if I say nighttime routine one more time... It sounds very... I'm gonna um, jump out this window. It sounds braggy that we do so much, but... It's not a brag at all, I'm telling you right now. It's a cry for you, help. We're gonna show you everything that we do. A shower, a dressing chain, a shot. Setting up the dialysis machine, hooking us up, up to the dialysis machine. Maybe we'll eat dinner afterwards tonight because I made some stew that's still cooking. And then free time and monitoring him to see if he pukes. Doesn't seem like much, but we're gonna show you. I think I need a coffee. No, you don't. I need a coffee. When did you become British? I've always been my sweet. See you on the other side, folks. In order to stay sane, we kind of divide and conquer. I usually do the blood pressure just because it's a highly skilled task that, uh... Anyways, I'm the only one that knows how to do this. <laughs> oh, not the table! Oh! The reason we have to take his blood pressure is because your kidneys are what control your blood pressure. So if his blood pressure is too high, that means his body is holding on to too much fluid. And Daddy! His blood pressure has always been good. Oh, it didn't work! Restart. Okay, that whole thing about me being the only one that can do it, not true. It's okay, buddy. Let's try it one more time. He likes doing this too. Oh, low battery. 96 over 70. That's good. Good job. Freedom! And then we have to write down everything that we do. We're going to have to do his weight, blood pressure. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 oh. What is blood? Hey, stop it! <laughs> what his blood pressure is in the morning and his temperature. Let's take your temperature. Let's take your temperature. We also have this barf bag. Hands up. 98.5. And we have to do his temperature because if he has a fever, that's a sign that he has an infection in his peritoneum, which is where the dialysis catheter goes, and uh, that's a very big deal. So day 133, zero infections. On the go. Got the goods. The nighttime concoctions. And the shot stuff too. Oh, lame. I know, it's that night. These are all from earlier that somebody forgot to do. What? You were home. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us forgot to do, but it's okay as long as we get them done today. None of these are like super vital ones. This one we have to put in his mouth, not his G-tube, and it's always the hardest one. What is that? Calcitrol. I already did it. This is on the four o'clock. I did it on the one o'clock. No, nope, well, we're not doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is why two people, we gotta check. This is laxatives and stuff. Some golden apple pie, some more laxatives. <laughs> the shot, flushes, magic nighttime medicine that makes him not puke. <laughs> Food, G2. Needles. What are you doing? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we gotta weigh him. His weight has been kind of an, I wouldn't say an issue. A struggle. A struggle here in the last couple months. He has not gained a lick. Oh, oh. my gosh. He hasn't gained a lick in the last couple months. Part of it is because he was puking four times a day, but he needs to be around 25 pounds for his transplant, and he's like 21 right he's now. He's like 22. With clothes on. <laughs> Soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's gonna set up this 
the thing we call the cycler. And it looks like a printer. I know, it literally does. What do I tell you we should name our next daughter? Claudia. And then the son would be Baxter. <laughs> I don't like either of those names. No. No offense if those are your names. It's just not, it's just not for us, you know? It says his name too. That's really Oh yeah, check that out. Okay, I'm gonna go put my hair up. Wash my hands, grab all our supplies. After Taylor puts the hair up, she's gotta grab all the supplies we need that we store in the weight room. Which goes to show how often we work out. <laughs> no! Sullivan! Ah! So gross. While Taylor's doing that, I guess I can set up the dressing change table. Why don't you clean the bed? What? That. How am I supposed to clean that? Take it off. Oh. Okay, while Taylor does the diaper, I will clean the bed. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is probably the first time I've ever made this bed. Why are there so many layers? Someone needs to make a blanket that's poop puke proof that you can just hose off or something. Dude, your toenails are gross. Da 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 This is the part about being a mom, it's like, ugh. Go get mama. Hi, baby! Mama! Don't grind your teeth. Oh, baby locks got you. No, don't lock me out. No, no. We spent two weeks full time at the children's hospital learning how to set up this machine. I remember thinking there's no way we can do this every morning and every night, but here we are. It's really become a part of our day, and honestly, it's not that bad. There was a lot of fear going into it, along with changing the dressing on Sully's catheter, but just like anything, if you do it enough, you start to get some confidence. And then I have to prep everything for after the shower because he rolls all the time, so you have to be like ready to go. So I use Aquaphor on his lips. This stuff is worth the hype. The Tubby Todd all right. over ointment. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Um, it's supposed to be for eczema and all these different things, but we use it all over Sully's body because he has dry skin and it is amazing. I have a 10% discount code too. I'll put it in the bio so that you guys can get some of that. We also have their diaper stuff. It's called Sweet Cheeks. It's kind of funny. And then I always cut his fingernails because baby fingernails grow like crazy. Hair stuff. G-tube gauze. We started using this aloe vesta around his G-tube. And then we grabbed a little PD belt band thing. Our hospital gave us these. We've had a lot of families reach out asking about these. But it's basically just like a fabric with a pocket. It's really cool. Grab all that, and then I gotta grab some diaper stuff too. And for those of you that don't know, we have to give Sully a shower. I have to get in the shower with him. There's a bunch of holes yeah. all over his body. <laughs> yeah. One that just leak urine, and you don't want all those submerged with water because then it can cause an infection. But same with his dialysis catheter. And we always change the dressing right after the shower. We have a good time. He really liked baths, and then when he got his dialysis catheter, we had to put a halt to it. It was sad. It was super sad. <laughs> but I'm really, really excited for the first bath like post-transplant. So I think he's just gonna love it. And it's weird because with the with the the ostomies that leak urine, he can go in the ocean. So maybe one day when all this is kind of past we can take him. Yeah he can't go in lake water or rivers because there's a lot of bacteria. But he can go in oceans and pools. Chlorinated pools. Yep. And hot tubs. So many weird things you have to learn. But anyways, you don't get to see us in the shower, so. We're gonna uh, do that. Yeah, we're gonna Actually, do that. are we gonna give him meds first? We're gonna do apples first. Open the clamp. And he be eating. <laughs> Take it out and get you in the shower. <gasps> <Come> on! <gasps> Alright, playtime's over. Watch what happens when he brushes his that teeth. Was so bad. Teeth brushing time. It went up. Hey, can we brush them? tips on how to do this. We're still trying. This kid has the craziest gag reflex of all time. Well, I tried. I failed. We try every day. I'll tell you right now, my favorite, definitely not favorite, least favorite. I was gonna say, you hate this. <laughs> I got camera shy for a second. My uh, 
least favorite part of our journey with Sully is giving him a shot. And we've been blessed to the point where we only have to give it to him once a week. Mm -hmm. But um, there is a chance that he'll need a growth hormone that would be every day. But we've avoided that so far. And uh, we just do this one. And uh, Taylor might explain to you what it is because I have no clue. Okay, so your kidneys produce something called erythropoietin. I think I'm saying that right. When they fail, they don't produce that. And that triggers red blood cell production in your body. So most people that have kidney disease are anemic and end up taking the shot. And they consider it like a miracle drug because before kidney failure patients ha would have to go in for blood transfusions too. Basically, this is like a synthetic form of that hormone that they've created that you inject once a week and it triggers red blood cells to be made. And so because of it, Soli's not anemic, but he was for a long time. One of the other things we do for Soli, we call it like a Franken diaper or something like that. He puts on a normal size four diaper is what he's at now. And then because he has like a hole where his belly button is and then one to the right of that as well, that way I guess, we had to create this contraption. We found from some Facebook groups about vesicostomies Poise pads. These things are awesome. Normally they're just for like incontinence. But we put, so we open it up, and we put two in every single of the outside, the big diaper. And so we just kind of stick it on the rim so that it creates like a nice pad across where he will be leaking all night. And since doing this, even though he pees a ton, we can have him not leak through even overnight. So we do it during the day too, but it's really important overnight. So I'm gonna set that up now too. I feel like we deserve like an honorary nursing degree or something. At least like a dialysis certificate. Yeah, what is that? I don't know, like you could go work in a dialysis center or something. Yeah, but I want to be at least a nurse so I can make some money. <laughs> I was telling you, I want to go back to school and become a labor delivery nurse. Just I mean, you can do whatever you want. Or you can do that in your latter years. Yeah, when I'm old. I could be like the grandma in labor and delivery. One that like gives them the like warm tea or something. The warm tea. Do they do that? I don't think so. <laughs> Administering shots is definitely not a skill I thought I would ever have. Billy's really sweet though because this was like, the shot was the one thing when I found out about, like I was heartbroken. And so he really stepped up big time for me and like, he does it every single time. Cause there's something about like my mama heart that just can't, like, I, that's so hard for me. Yeah, it's so easy for me. Just kidding. You gotta make sacrifices for your bride. So like to bend me anyway, so. He forgives, he's a quick forgiver. That's not so bad, huh? That's not so bad. That's not so bad, huh? He's so brave! See, that wasn't bad, huh? You did it! You did it! Woo you did it! When we first started Sully's dressing changes, he would scream like a madman. But now he's pretty used to it and actually falls asleep most times. And we need to go eat dinner. <laughs> We're having stew. I don't even like stew. Love stew. Well, really, I like sourdough bread and stew, but we don't even have bread. While Sully eats, I set up the table with all the supplies we need, and most of the supplies are used to maintain a sterile catheter. Check this out. Oh, whoa. I didn't mean to press that. I don't like the white light. We like the orange light. Oh. Mm. But watch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you did it. We call it. The orb of us. <laughs> what is that from? Ready Player One. So now Sully eats and we try and get him to burp so he doesn't puke. Um, and then I get him to sleep. I'm gonna read some books, kind of normal baby things. And then once he's out for about five minutes, I text Billy, he comes in here, and then we hook him up to dialysis while he's asleep. And that seems to work best for him. Normally he sleeps just through it all, which is really nice. And when Sully's all fed and fast asleep, Taylor moves him over to his bed and we connect him to dialysis. This process takes roughly 10 minutes when you take into account all the cleaning and prepping and actually starting the machine. At this point, um, why are you whispering? Because he's right there. <laughs> At this point, we uh, don't do much else with him unless there's a low drain alarm or anything. That must just knock the monitor off the banister. Um, unless there's like a low drain alarm, or oh, we have to set, we have to do his overnight feed, but we start that at ten thirty. Yep, and I'd say eight nights out of ten, there's a low drain alarm. Or two. They're very frequent, especially the first two cycles. 
So that's why yeah. we try and get this started early because then we're like awake when those happen. Um, but tonight we haven't had dinner yet and it's 8 o'clock so we're going to go eat some stew. Which I love. He hates, I guess. And then we'll go from there. But that was a long haul. Proud of you.